right, the next thing we want to talk about, the next category is going to be FPV equipment. And we have the GGI FPV right here. And the first thing we're going to look at is uh, a landing gear made by Start RC. And this is $17. And uh, I already, no, I actually did not mount it because it is right here. And what did I do with it? It's right here. There you go. Here's the uh, landing gear right here. This is $17. Um, if you ask me, is this worth $17? I'm probably going to say no because, well, just a piece of plastic. Now it folds technically. Now you see the form factor right here, and then I'm going to fold it. Same exact form factor. The folding doesn't really do a whole lot. Uh, but if you want to make your DJI FPV, pretty bulky. This is the perfect accessory right here. And uh, it goes in like this, and this is what the monster looks like. Uh, this drone is already pretty massive as it is. A, I mean, I like this drone, don't get me wrong, but this is a massive addition, I think. Uh, this is cool if you want to go down the slope with the FPV and then uh, eventually take off, or if you want to go on wet grass, whatever it is that you want to do. Uh, it holds the battery a little higher off the ground. I know some people complain about this battery being here. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I have not flown with this thing on. Um, I think it's going to catch the wind quite a bit, so... Um, eh. I don't know. I'm not. I'm still. I'm still not sold on this accessory. But the next thing that I want to look at now is going to be for the goggles. If you've had these goggles, or if you don't have them, one of the things that you have to be extra careful with is the fact that this right here, if you put it in the light, will burn an image inside of the goggles. Ask me how I know. This right here is $10. This is made by uh, Arczoid. I don't know how you even say that. Arzroik. <laughs> it's a terrible name for a company, sorry. Um, but this has the ability right here to hold your antennas. These little cylinders here, they go right in here. That's your antennas. So this has the ability to hold your antennas and also protect the back of your uh, goggles. So uh, to me, this is well worth the $10. These are expensive goggles. If you burn them through, either you're gonna have to live with it or you're gonna have to get a new set of goggles, which is, again, extremely expensive. So totally worth the 10 bucks. I would highly recommend that you get one of these. It fits perfect right in the back without being uh, too hard to take off. And uh, again, just great protection. So the next thing that I wanna talk about is the battery mount for these goggles right here. And, um, <laughs> Okay, we've, we've talked about cool accessories. Now this is cool. This is cool in the sense that this is really going to help you not have this thing in your pocket, okay? Um, if you've flown the FPV, DJI FPV before, you put this thing in your pocket and then there's a cable hanging on the side. It's pretty uncomfortable. This solves it, but I'm gonna tell you, this is the most expensive piece of plastic that we have currently in the lab. This is $17. Um, is it worth it? I don't know. It's very useful. It's cool to have it. You clip it right here. Then you clip your battery in here, just like that. And then it comes with a short cable that's going to go on the side. It holds the battery really snug. That's uh, definitely one thing for sure. Then you're gonna plug this in and then you're gonna plug it right here. And then you don't have your cable hanging in your pockets and it's just hanging in the back of your head. Now, something to be said about this. This is going to put more weight on the top of the uh, string right here, which means a little bit more weight on the top of your head. Uh, this may get a little bit uncomfortable, so you're going to have to do different adjustments to make sure that it fits uh, pretty well. But again, $17. It really depends on what you want to do. I'm going to say if you have access to a 3D printer, you can probably uh, get this done. This is done by C Sky, and uh, you can find that on Amazon, just like all the other tools down in the link, you'll be uh, able to see that. All right, the next set of equipment I want to talk about is for the Air 2 and the Air 2S. And uh, and let's talk about the, the propeller holder or the, the jock strap. If you are familiar with the Mavic 3, the Mavic 3 came with this jock strap that goes around the gimbal. And they've designed the same thing here. Sonova has designed the same thing around this um, Air 2 and Air 2S series. Now you do need to take the gimbal cover off before you do this. Uh, this is our, our trusted Air 2. Uh, we've used this thing. This is our crash test dummy right here. Uh, it went through a parachute crash. We broke the gimbal. It went through um, testing for uh, propeller 
<laughs> hitting on uh, on skin to see skin laceration and we broke the leg we still haven't fixed it because we don't fly it very much but uh, but it fits it fits really well the only thing that I don't like is that you really have to make sure the gimbal is put in place before you put it on and then uh, and then it kind of holds the gimbal in place the gimbal doesn't really move there's this little thing that comes on top and then you clip it and then <laughs> that was our leg <laughs> and uh, and this thing is uh, it's a little bulky quite frankly so if you have a bag that's a little tight then this may not be for you but this is Sonova it's it's built it's built strong I mean it's it's uh, it's a solid it's a nice plastic it's uh, it's not easy to to bend but uh, yeah this is uh, I'm not sure about the pricing on this one I don't think it's been uh, released to the public just yet but uh, look for it on Amazon with some links down in the description the next thing I want to talk about is some landing gear for this drone and um, and the first one is going to be this one right here which is essentially designed to be a, a, a landing gear it's a two-in-one this is a landing gear with a spotlight and it's also well it's also a landing gear quite frankly on top of it so we're going to clip this at the bottom you start from the back like this and then you clip it in the front just right here and then when you turn on the light what's going to happen is that this light right here is using the, the landing light that we have at the bottom and it helps to refract it right in the front so let's turn off the light and then let's see what happens so when the light is turned on you can set that into the settings you can see it's not extremely bright it's a little bit diffused but it may help you if it's darker I'm sure that you have the ability to see a little bit better but uh, that's what this landing gear does so let's turn the lights back on and let's move on to the next one now let's talk about the downside for this this is uh, pretty close to the gimbal if you look in here especially if you have the Air 2S so um, well it's it's okay I, I, I think this is more of a, a gimmick rather than anything else now let's move on to the next accessory which is going to be uh, the payload and this one is pretty cool because we can use this as a uh, well you can use it to drop stuff this is going to also clip underneath your Air 2S or your Air 2 it also acts as skis okay and it also folds just like uh, the other one again the folding I don't really know that it does very much but right here at the bottom there's a module that's going to help you that it's got a servo and uh, it's going to help you basically switch stuff and drop stuff we can turn it on it's got a little pa uh, battery in here that's USB powered and then at the bottom here there's a button so that you can set your payload and as you can tell as I'm pushing on the button the, the little servo is rotating and it's got a little hook and so what happens is when the hook is at the bottom like this then the payload is going to fall and then when the hook is on top right here it's going to hold it in place now you're going to say how do you control this well you control this using the auxiliary light at the bottom of this drone as you turn on the light it's going to activate this and it's going to start rotating you're going to drop the payload and then um, and then when you stop the light then it stops rotating right here you also have an option to have a little LED light it doesn't light up a whole lot quite frankly uh, I think it's more again more of a gimmick but that's a button that you have on the side right here that you can turn on or off but really the money in here uh, this is $33 this is what you get this uh, payload that's actuated using light and the next thing that I want to talk about is these beautiful Sonova cases right here and the first one is going to be for the Air 2S right here so this is a nice case now at the moment I don't have pricing on this as we're publishing this video because well this hasn't really been released by Sonova uh, they actually send this to us so thank you for doing that uh, I'm not gonna lie I'm not a case guy but this is a really nice case and uh, for a lot of reason it's just it's just built solid and uh, I don't know what the price is like I said but whatever it is it's it's pretty much worth it if you want to have everything in one place uh, you have a button that you have to push before you can unlock these and open them up but here you can see everything that, fi that, that fits in here obviously you're drawn you can even leave the, prop the, the props on you have the controller you can leave the sticks on they're protected you have your battery uh, your triple battery if you have the, the plus the fly more combo you have the filters that go right in here you have room for four batteries plus one in the drone if you wanted to do that your cables right here and everything fits inside of this beautiful case now you notice there is a, a few <laughs> a little bit of stains in here and there's a reason for it because well we put this to the test this is a fully waterproof case but let's find out how waterproof it actually is ok 
Okay, the next set of accessories is gonna be for the Mini series, the Mini, the original Mini, or the Mini 2. And we're gonna get started with the Synova case. This is the same thing as the other case. I don't have pricing on this because this was sent to us as a preview. Again, this is a beautifully built uh, case. I can tell you, if you buy anything from Synova, I'm not getting paid to say this, but they make really nice products. You're gonna push right here, open it up, push right here and open it up as well. And this will fit everything that you need for your Mini. This is a Mini 2 that's in here right now. It's got the little strap on top of it. It's got the controller that goes in here. In here, you could actually put, I think, filters. You have room for three batteries plus one in the drone if you wanted to. There's a big compartment right here where you can put your accessories, your cable, whatever you want. And then it even has room to put the charger right in here with three more batteries. So you could technically put seven batteries in here if you wanted to. There is uh, little tabs right here if you wanted to put your SD card and then you can put that controller in here with the sticks. There is a cutout for the sticks. And then there's even another tab right here that I'm not going to remove. So plenty of room. The foam is really solid. It's really solid. There's a nice foam right on top right here and it closes and it's also waterproof. So um, a great value, whatever the price is, I'm sure this is gonna be a great value. All right, the next thing that I wanna talk about is related to the Mavic Mini. And there's actually quite a few accessories in here. So I'm gonna use this little table again. But the first thing is going to be our remote throw system, which is what I'm holding in my hand right here. This is not cheap. This is the most expensive accessory that we have. Is it worth it? I'm not sure. It's cool. Is it $41 cool? I'm not sure. But this comes with several things. It comes with this uh, remote system, which has a servo right here. I'm going to turn it on. There's a button on the side and then you can push on the button and you can see what happens. As I, as I actuate it, you can see that the spin comes in and out of its uh, receptacle. Now you say, how do you actuate this from the ground? You have this amazing, not a tiny cell phone. This is just a remote right here. And there's two buttons, one to open and one to close. You gotta figure out which one is what. The top one opens, the bottom one closes. And um, if you wanna drop something from the air, this is what you're gonna be using. This will only fit the Mini. Um, I'm sure with some engineering, you could fit it on other drones as well. It's pretty lightweight and uh, it just clips in just like this. And then when you fly, it doesn't add enough weight that it feels sluggish. It will burn your battery down a lot quicker. It comes with these little leg extensions. So it makes the drone sit a little bit higher. Uh, they are simply fitting in right here. Be careful because these legs right here, they're antennas and they're pretty flimsy. So make sure you hold it nice and tight when you remove it. In the back, it's just a clip, whoop, just like this. And, uh, and then you can see the difference on how tall it makes this device compared to how it is. It usually sits pretty flat. So uh, when we did our testing, we actually did not use the legs, but uh, I'd like to, um, yeah, it's nice if you have something underneath you definitely want to be a little bit higher off the ground. And then the next piece of equipment is this, which is a, a landing gear that folds just like all the other landing gears. And this is $17. Again, I'm not sure if this is worth $17 because all it does, it's landing gear and then it's got a light at the bottom right here. It clips onto the bottom. I can put it on right here because I have this thing mounted and it doesn't work with these leg extensions, but uh, it's just a bunch of skis or landing gear, whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, it's got a nice little light. You can control this light. You can only control it by turning it on and off manually by pushing this button. And then you have to use the little um, uh, micro USB charger right here to make it work. So the last item that I want to talk about is, uh, well, this is what Ethan, our producer says is one of the coolest item that we have in here. This is a charging hub. And you're going to say, well, yeah, we have a charger for uh, the Mavic Mini already that comes with it. If you have the fly more combo, this is a little bit different because this is a two way charger. You can charge the batteries by plugging it right here with a USB C or you can also use this as a battery pack. So if you ever wanted to charge your phone or your heated jacket right here, then you can put that in your pocket right here and then turn it on and then it acts, it uses these two batteries to charge stuff. So if you're in a pinch, you need to charge your phone, you don't have an external charger, this is pretty cool right here. We'll put the pricing down in the description, you can see all of that. But that kind of uh, wraps it up for all of our accessories. If you need more information about any of these, please leave a comment down here. We're gonna put all the description. I do need to mention two things. The links down here are affiliates. 
If you click on the links and you purchase, we are gonna make a couple dollars. It doesn't change your pricing, but I have to mention this. And then the other thing too, I do wanna say thank you to Sonova for sending us a lot of the equipment for free. Uh, I'm not a biased guy. Even if they didn't send it to us, we bought the other equipment just because we wanted to test it. It was a nice gesture of them. I have to say that they have a really, really, really nice equipment. Their stuff just stands out to me. It's not cheap. It, it just feels like it was well thought of. And you can look at their entire website. Quite frankly, they have equipment for a lot of different things. So again, thank you Sonova for uh, sending us the equipment, but that's it. Leave a comment, like, don't forget to subscribe. We'll have more of these. If you want us to test more accessories, let us know and we'll get to it. So that's it, fly safe, and we'll see you next time.